In 1959, computers were large, expensive, and rare. That same year, Digital Equipment Corporation, a young company based just outside of Boston, unveiled its first computer, the PDP-1. The PDP-1 was an early, iconic mini-computer, a radical design change to smaller, less expensive computers. Only 53 were made. A few went to universities like MIT and Stanford. Now, it won't surprise anyone that one of the first things that transpired on the MIT PDP-1 was the world's first video game, Space War. The PDP-1 was remarkable. It had a paper tape reader and punch to store and read data onto paper tape, a typewriter to type in and print out data, a cathode ray tube Type 30 display that allowed programmers to view and edit programs and games, and finally, it had a light pen connected to the monitor to point at objects or draw directly on the screen. The PDP-1 was a game changer. It captivated an early generation of engineers with revolutionary real-time capabilities, interactivity, live graphic display, and even sound. It launched hacker culture. Rolling Stone declared, ready or not, computers are coming to the people. In 1963, when Raj Reddy arrived at Stanford to start his PhD, so did a brand new PDP-1 to the AI lab led by AI pioneer John McCarthy. McCarthy, Raj's thesis advisor, suggested that perhaps he could do a class project using the new PDP-1's analog to digital converter, which allowed for analog signals like speech or music to be input into the computer. Raj got to work. He'd arrive in the evening after everyone else had left, and he'd work through the night seven days a week just so he could have the PDP-1 all to himself. As captured in his oral history for the museum, he said, And I thought I died and went to heaven. What Raj began as a class project on the PDP-1 blossomed into his PhD dissertation and the first continuous speech recognition program. Pick up every small block. As well as the start to his life's work. Today, there are only three PDP-1s left in the world, one restored to full operation, and all are at the Computer History Museum. This PDP-1 is one of over 100,000 artifacts in the museum's collection.